Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you are already subscribed, welcome back. My name is Sierra and in today's video, we are stuffing my fourth paycheck from May. So I have the money right here in this bag. Usually I keep the money in here until I get home from the bank. And we will go ahead and set it up. So today is Friday, so happy Friday to you guys. It is also Memorial Day weekend which I'm super excited for because I do have a four-day weekend. Um, the only bad news is it is supposed to rain all weekend, which kind of sucks. Um, so I'm hoping that the weather like turns around so I at least have one or two sunny days um, because I do want to have another beach day. Um, we had so much fun at the beach, me and my kiddos, and um, we got super tan and it was just a nice time. So um, I definitely want to go back to the beach. It's supposed to be like 80 um, and 90 degrees, but just rain. So fingers crossed that it turns around. And then also, um, I woke up today with like my throat feeling extremely sore. So I don't know what it is. Um, I've heard that there's like something going around. So maybe I caught that. My daughter's had a fever for the past three days, which makes me so sad because she's a baby and I can't really help her because I don't know exactly what's wrong. Um, but she did go to the doctors yesterday, so we're going to wait and see what the results say. So maybe whatever she had, she like passed it along to me because I feel like a cat like scratched my throat out. And you can probably tell by my voice. Um, hopefully not. But we will go ahead and get started with the cash stuffing. I cannot wait, you guys, for the rest of my stuff to get here. Um, I did order some stuff from Etsy and then I also got some stuff from Amazon. And so um, one of the binders that I got, I feel like it's going to be so cute for my Etsy shop. And I cannot wait for that either because, um, like I said, I do have so many great ideas. And I always try to think like outside of the box and think of things that I haven't seen and seen people do. So um, this binder that I have, I feel like is, is going to be really um, cool for that because I haven't seen it before. So definitely excited for that and then also um, I am going to be doing a breakdown of my binders and explaining to you guys like how to create a budget that is on one of my videos for June I believe it's the 15th um, and I will put that schedule up once June 1st gets here but it's going to be breaking down my cash binders explaining why I put like the certain amount in the envelopes that I do and then also um, I'll be creating a budget on a sheet of paper so you guys can see how to like get started because I do get a lot of questions about that so those are just some things that are um, coming up, but we will go ahead and get started. All right, so starting off with my cash envelopes, the first envelope that I'm going to stuff is for groceries. And groceries is going to get $60 this week. Um, I'm also doing the grocery shopping video for you guys. A lot of people ask, like, how do you make it on $60 worth of groceries? Um, $60 is my portion. So my kid's dad also puts up money as well. My kids are pretty picky eaters, so they eat literally the same thing all the time. So I've got, like, my grocery shopping down packed. So I honestly do spend around $60 a week on groceries, and I eat pretty much the same things um, as well. So I don't know. It's just kind of how it goes, but... Um, he does, you know, give money for groceries as well. So if I do ever go over the 60, I have extra. Um, but normally I stay right around 60. So I will go ahead and put my portion in. So 50 and then a 10. All right, next is for gas. Gas is going to be getting $65 this week. Um, so as you guys know, I'm pretty sure in your states as well, gas is either going up or just kind of staying steady. And here in Delaware, it's like $4.70, which is outrageous. Um, I did get that $300 gas stimulus, but I literally just put it into my checking because it's probably going to be used up, honestly, for gas. I mean, as, as expensive as it is, it's like they're giving out the stimulus, but they're just going to get it right back because we can't, you know, keep up with these gas prices. So moving on to myself, I am giving myself $20 this week. So for nails, I am giving it $10. Um, I've been doing the press-ons and I honestly have been loving them. These ones that I have on right now cost me $4 at the dollar store and I just painted on some little flowers um, using a Q-tip and then I put some rhinestones on. So it's so much easier than going to the salon and also it's fun because my daughter loves painting her toes um, and her nails. So we'll just sit outside on like the warm days and do our toes and stuff. So 
um, it's it's funner to me than going to the nail salon and it's also a lot cheaper so moving on to Starbucks Starbucks is going to get $25 today so a 20 and then a 5 I haven't been going to Starbucks as much because I've been trying to um, lose a few pounds so I've been drinking just mainly water um, I do go a couple days maybe like once or twice a week to get my um, latte but I don't get like all the extra stuff in it I usually just get like the coffee and the milk now um, so once I lose a few pounds then I'll probably go back to drinking Starbucks but I did add 25 because my daughter does like some of the drinks there and my son so I'll get them some stuff as well so moving on to eating out eating out is gonna get $30 so a 20 and then a 10. And eating out, I usually just use this envelope if I'm like out on the go, if I stop and grab some stuff. Um, not mainly for like sitting down at restaurants because obviously $30 is not going to be enough for that. Um, but I do go out a lot like on my days off, like shopping around or running to like Target and stuff like that. And so I'll stop sometimes at like Chick-fil-A or something and just grab like a quick snack. So usually that's what I use this for. And then last envelope is for babies and babies is going to get $20. All right, so that wraps up my cash envelopes and then we will go ahead and move on to my long-term binder. I'll start out with this one for this week. All right, so starting off with house. So house is going to be getting $20 from this paycheck. I'll give you guys a little house update um, in my budget breakdown video so you guys kind of know what's going on with the whole house situation. So let's count it up. House now has 1,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 20, 40, and 60. So 560 for a house. All right, moving on. So taxes, obviously you don't need the stuff. Um, so next would be for student loans. And student loans, I'm just giving $5 this week. So student loans now has 50, 1, 50, 70, 5, and 80. So 180 for student loans. Next is for investing. And investing is going to be getting $10. So it only has 10 right now, so obviously that would make 20. All right, so that is it for this binder. And I told you guys already, this binder is kind of boring, but as soon as um, I set up these new envelopes, this binder will be a lot more fun. So I am gonna keep that one just because I don't wanna get rid of the sparkles. I just love this binder so much, um, but I am replacing this one. So you guys will see that soon. And then we will go ahead and move on to my short-term binder. All right, so starting off with the 52-week savings challenge. This week is week 21, and it is getting $125. So we are slowly but surely coming up on another placeholder. It should be next week that um, I get to add a placeholder. So can't wait for that because that means we get to deposit some more cash into savings. So let's go ahead and count it up. So 1, 2, 3,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 58, 20, 40, 60, 5, 70, and 5. So 3,875 for the 52 week savings challenge. And once again, it is week 21 and this envelope got $125. So moving on to Aston. So for Aston, he is going to be getting $100 this week. Since the 52-week um, savings challenge was only $125, I did have some money left over from my budget. So I was able to stuff my kids um, a little bit extra. Usually I give them 50. So um, Aston now has 1,000 to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 50. So 2,850. I got to take a thumbnail. I just realized I forgot. So maybe this will be my thumbnail. We'll see how it looks. 
All right, <laughs> and then moving on to Alea. So Alea is also going to be getting $100 this week. All right, so that puts Alea at 1,000, 2,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 50. So 2,850 for her as well. And then moving on to shopping. So for shopping this week, it is going to be getting $10. All right, so shopping now has one, two, 10, and 20. So 220 for shopping. Next is for family time, and family time is going to be getting $20. All right, so that puts it at 1, 2, 3, 50, 70, 90, 4, 10, and 20. So 420 for family time. I need to spend some money out of this envelope. We've just been doing a lot of stuff that doesn't really cost money, so um, haven't really had the chance to use it. But I do want to take my kids to Sesame Place their water park opened and Sesame Place is so much fun um, for the kids and honestly for me as well so I'm gonna plan a day for that and we'll use some money out of that envelope but moving on to clothes so clothes is gonna get ten dollars so clothes now has 1 50 70 80 and 90 I was thinking about doing like a shopping video another shopping video if you guys want to see that um, just let me know, but I was thinking maybe I could do like how I like coupon and bargain and, um, you know, try to get the best deals on clothes. So maybe I'll make a video of me shopping around doing that because let me tell you, I never pay full price for clothes. I just feel like it's ridiculous and I always find like coupon codes or discounts, something. So I might do that video but um moving on to car so car is going to be getting eight dollars today so five and then six seven and eight so car now has 50 65 66 7 8 9 70 1 2 and 3 so 73 dollars all right, moving on to Christmas. So Christmas is going to be getting $10 this week. So that puts Christmas at 1, 2, 50, 70, 80, and 90. So 290 for Christmas. Next is for gifts. And for gifts, it is going to be getting $20. So that puts gifts at 20, 40, 60, and 5. I do have my parents, both of their birthdays are coming up in June, so I have to get them a birthday gift. Um, so I need to bulk that envelope up before then. Um, next is for vacay, and vacay is getting $50. So it now has one, two, three, fifty, four, fifty. Cannot wait to use this envelope, you guys. I'm ready for another vacation, honestly, like yesterday. All right, moving on to giveaway. Giveaway is getting $5. And giveaway now has one, 25, and 30. So 130 for giveaway. And that is the last envelope. So that wraps up my cash envelope stuffing for today. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And hopefully you guys have a great Memorial Day weekend. If you have to work, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, but hopefully you have off and you're able to spend time with your family. I love Memorial Day weekend. It just is so much fun, like cookouts, barbecues, drinks, all of that good stuff. Um, don't think I'm really going to like try to go to the beach. Maybe I might go like Saturday or Sunday morning if the weather's nice. Um, but I just remembered that it's Memorial Day weekend. So it's going to be jam packed and I probably won't have anywhere to park or anything. So now I'm reconsidering. But um, I'll definitely be doing something this weekend, you know, since I have off. So if you guys do want to keep up with me outside of YouTube and like budgeting, you can follow me on Snapchat. I will add my snap name right here. Um, I'm going to be posting some this weekend. I've been super busy over this past week and the week before, so I haven't really been on there. But I will be posting um, over the weekend. So if you want to follow me, you definitely can. And I think that's pretty much it. That I had to say to you guys today but I'm so so excited you guys I know I keep saying it but I cannot wait to get all my new stuff in the mail and show you guys so 
I'm aiming for June 5th, I believe is what I put on my schedule to um, upload the like happy mail, I guess that's what it's called, um, video of me unboxing everything. So hopefully um, the last item that I'm waiting on gets here by then. I believe it's delayed. So we shall see, fingers crossed, but I'm definitely excited. So it was nice chatting with you guys today and I hope you guys do have a great weekend and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.